Now, it's not very often that this happens, but Corsair literally sponsored this video to show off how off the rails crazy they've gone. They finally did it. They have launched their full lineup of custom water cooling solutions. They're calling it their Hydro X series, and they've got over 60 SKUs. Like, this is the thing that I was always thinking, there's no way they're never gonna do it because you can't just launch a CPU block and call that good enough. You need CPU blocks, GPU blocks, reservoirs, pumps, mounts, fittings, tubing. And we're gonna take you guys all the way around the booth and have a look at everything that they've done here. Let's start with the CPU block. Naturally, since it's Corsair, they're gonna want something that's gonna look great in any showcase PC. So they've got a couple of different models here, the XC7 RGB and the XC9 RGB. Now they look nearly identical on the surface, except for the difference in color. We've got black on this one, and silver on this one, but under the hood, they are a little bit different. So the XC7 uses 0.25 millimeter fins, and the XC9 uses 0.2 millimeter fins, giving it a slight edge in terms of performance. So the reason for that is that the XC9 is designed for Threadripper and Intel's HEDT platform, and then this one is for your more mainstream AM4 and LG11 5X. For the GPU cooler, we've got a look that is quintessentially Corsair. So they've got an extruded aluminum shroud with a machined acrylic window over here. They've got an included aluminum backplate, and then they've got a bunch of really nice to have features. There's a flow indicator here. They've got pre-applied thermal compound and thermal pads, which is a time saver compared to like cutting out the pads and then aligning them all yourselves. Really nice to have. And then the really standout one to me is actually this right here. So their cooling engine uses the same skived copper manufacturing process as their CPU block. And that's really unique for a GPU because normally that would be quite cost prohibitive. The way that they got around this is by mass producing this piece, and then you can actually see it over here, and then screwing it in and using a rubber O-ring to attach it to the rest of the cooler. Quite clever, Corsair, quite clever. At launch, they'll have blocks for the 1080, 1080 Ti, 2070, 2080, 2080 Ti, those are all Founders Edition, as well as Asus's Strix 2080 and 2080 Ti, and uh, for the AMD fans out there, Radeon Vega 56 and 64. Now this next one threw me for a bit of a loop. The CPU block is XC, the GPU block is XG, the radiators are XR, but for some reason the reservoir pump combo unit is XD. Now there's actually a good reason for this because Corsair is using a genuine D5 pump and we're talking the full RPM PWM controlled one, which I think is an absolutely fantastic choice and they're offering nothing else, which I also think is an absolutely fantastic choice. The D5 has a well-deserved reputation for its reliability and its near silent operation. And this is just such a not being afraid to spend more money to deliver a better quality product move from them that I absolutely have to commend. They include a bunch of different mounting options, 120 or 140 millimeter fan mounts, as well as a bottom mount or a back mount for the case. And this is a nice touch. They include a 24 pin jumper so that you can quickly cycle your power supply on and off to get bleed the air out of your loop as well as a temperature sensor. Now, one unusual thing is that the reservoir is made of the same clear nylon injection molded plastic as the CPU block, and this was apparently done for durability as well as um, resistance against crappy coolants purposes. So that's, uh, that's a very unusual move. That must have cost a pretty penny. And of course, like with anything Corsair these days, the customization with RGB lighting is basically endless. They've got full integration with their IQ software for different lighting profiles. So here I'm gonna have my friend HP show me some of the different setups he can do with the 16 LEDs that are in both the CPU and GPU block and the 10 that are integrated into their reservoirs. And perhaps more importantly, it's integrated from a cooling perspective as well. Now, lots of different cooling softwares actually do have support for creating fan profiles that correspond to the temperature of your system. But there's a fatal flaw whenever you're using water cooling with most of these setups because they're designed to use your CPU temperatures and they're also designed to set RPM ranges that are more designed for fans than they are for pumps. So Corsair went and created a couple of profiles that set more realistic both fan and separate pump RPMs that correspond to your coolant temperature because it's using that built-in temp 
front sensor that's integrated into their pump and reservoir combo. It's a nice little touch and it's the kind of thing that makes life a lot simpler compared to the old days of getting one of those N cubed T balancers, hoping you can find the freaking drivers that work and then dialing everything in manually. Now that's it for the components that Corsair engineered for themselves from the ground up. But quite frankly, with the partners that they've chosen for some of these other components, there's absolutely no shame in collaboration. So for their radiators, they've got 120 millimeter thick radiators in triple, double, and quadruple sizes right here. They've got 140 millimeter slim radiators in triple, double, and single, and then 120 millimeter radiators in triple, double, and single sizes. They all use sort of a medium fin density so they should perform quite well with low to medium rpm fins and they worked with hardware labs on these so you can expect the kind of quality that you'd get from someone with literally decades of experience building water cooling radiators for pcs on the fitting side of things as well as tubing again the partnership makes a ton of sense to me they've got four different colors available and most of the popular models in gold black white and chrome and they worked with bits power on these for two different sizes of hardline tubing fittings and then a single size that goes with their 10 millimeter id 13 millimeter od soft tubing now i would have preferred a thicker wall tubing but i also understand that not everybody likes the look of that and what you do achieve with the thin wall tubing is very little of that clear halo around your colored coolant so for their coolant They've partnered with Mayhem and they're offering, I believe it is five different colors, is that right, including clear? There you go, so they've got their green, blue, clear, purple, and red. So there you have it guys, irrefutable proof that Corsair doesn't care how small or how niche a market is, if it exists in the PC space, they will go after it. So thanks Corsair for sponsoring this video and thanks to you guys for watching it. If you disliked it, you know what to do. But if you liked it, hit like, get subscribed, or maybe consider checking out where to buy the stuff we featured at the link in the video description. Also down there is our merch store, which has cool shirts like this one and our community forum, which you should definitely join.